everyone, Magpie Gaming here bringing you another PUBG video. So I've decided that I'm going to do like a weekly news video for PUBG rather than doing a video for every bit of news that comes out, which I haven't done up to now, but I was considering. I thought rather than spam you with video after video, which would be fairly short videos, I've decided to try and round up all the weekly news and put it into one video. Much like I was doing with the Destiny videos, but there wasn't too much interest in that. There's already very well established YouTubers that cover Destiny, and I think a lot of people just don't really care too much about Destiny. But Battlegrounds is a game that I'm very much into, and I've got a bit of a following on YouTube with it now, so... I thought I'd maybe do this and, yeah, see where it goes. So for this episode, there is three topics that I'm going to talk about. And the first one of those is that Player Unknown Battlegrounds has now surpassed 8 million in sales on the PC. Now it wasn't that long ago that I did a video detailing that it had passed 5 million, and then I think I mentioned in one that it had passed 6 million, and somewhere along the lines it's passed 7 million and I've not even noticed, but now we're already at 8 million, which is absolutely fantastic for this game. As I've said before, when you consider it's still an early access game and it's surpassed 8 million in sales, that is just unbelievable. I think it's now fared in the list of concurrent users on Steam. I think it hit something like over half a million players at one point. So yeah, it's doing amazingly well right now with terms of sales. And the train keeps rumbling on. It doesn't look like there's going to be any signs of it stopping. I would think that within the next three to maybe four weeks, we'll be looking at nine million in sales. And then I would expect within the next maybe two months for it to hit the 10 million mark. It just doesn't seem to look like it's slowing down at all. If anything, it seems like it's speeding up. Of course, there are a lot of YouTubers out there now. A lot of the big names are covering it. There are a lot of smaller people like me putting content out. I never put winning chicken dinner content out, but hopefully people watch it and have a laugh. So and that's all I'm interested in when I play the game is having a laugh. Yeah, I'd like to win, but I'm sure one day I will. But yeah, it's got a lot of coverage out there. People are really enjoying it. The next bit of news I've got for you regarding Battlegrounds is that Shadow Play Highlights is now supported within the game. So basically, if you don't know what Shadow Play Highlights is, it's an option within Shadow Play that's used in the GeForce Experience software where you can get it to record so many minutes of gameplay footage. And it does this automatically in the background. You don't know it's actually running. And then if you do something that looks really good, you don't have to worry about not getting it recorded because shadow play has recorded it for you and you simply just save that footage and then you can open it up in a video editor and do what you want to it so for content creators like me and for people who just want to share their bits of the game it is a really good bonus to have it's not something that i would use myself as i like to have manual control of my recording but of course for people that are so into it like you know in a serious way then it's a good way to capture your footage. What I would like to see going forward is for the game to support the Ansel, which is the in-game camera shot thing that you can use with NVIDIA, because I do think that there are some vistas within the game that just look gorgeous, and I think it'd be really good to be able to get a picture. I'm not really sure how that would work in a competitive multiplayer, but, you know, it'd be a good option to have if it can be implemented within the game. And finally, the last bit of news I've got for you today is regarding the Xbox version of Battlegrounds. Now, on Sunday, it was announced at Gamescom that the console version of Battlegrounds is exclusive to Xbox. Now, everybody knew that it was coming to Xbox. It's been rumoured for a long time that it would be going to that platform. Obviously, Xbox have slightly less restrictive um, rules when it comes to unfinished games going on their platform. They're a lot more open to allowing indie titles to go to their platform. And I think one reason for that will be because they're lagging behind PlayStation, basically. They're not as, um, I don't want to say not as popular, but they don't have the edge on the gaming community with the Xbox. It's flagged behind with the PlayStation. So of course getting Battlegrounds under their belt is a big plus for them. And the uh, the cynical Brit within me probably thinks that this is due to them losing Crackdown 3 as an exclusive title for the Xbox One X. I wouldn't be too surprised if you don't see Battlegrounds being an exclusive title or an exclusive launch title for the Xbox One X. Now, I think now that the exclusivity rights are signed, there will be more devs put behind this game, more money put behind it, almost certainly, to try and get it to a finished state in time for the Xbox One X launch. That would be where I'd put my money right now. Obviously, I'm not going to put no real money on it. I'm not that stupid. But yeah, 
as a guess, I think that's where this game will head. I think they'll look to launch it for the Xbox One X across the board on the Xbox range, of course. But yeah, I think that's where it's going. But I think the PlayStation players think that it was going to them as well. And I think a lot of people thought that as well. Yeah, it'll end up on the Xbox first, but eventually come to the PlayStation. Some people still believe that it will, but in this statement that was put out by Blue Hole Productions, it states it's exclusive to the Xbox and that's that. It's not a timed exclusive, which would mean that it would eventually end up on the PlayStation. It is just exclusive to Xbox. So of course, for Player Unknown and for Blue Hole Productions, that's a good plus for them. That means that there will be an influx of dev knowledge, if not actual devs, put onto the game to help them. Of course, there will be money put there as well to help with the process. But the one thing that worries me is that will content now be exclusive to the Xbox? Does that mean that content might be timed exclusive to the Xbox? Of course we're all waiting on the extra maps to be released for the game. We know that there are two maps in the works and hopefully we'll get one of those before the end of the year. But does that mean that they could potentially now just be exclusive to the Xbox? You really don't know. It depends on the terms of this exclusivity deal. Of course that's not going to be revealed to us right now. but. It is a worry for me that the content might go to the Xbox rather than the PC. Hopefully that won't be the case. Hopefully I'm just being a bit of a, a doom monger there and I'm just um, looking at things on the dark side. But, you know, one does wonder whether that's going to be the way that it goes. One does wonder? What the fuck? I never say one. Never mind. Anyway, but yeah, you've got to think that, you know, I'm, I'm a cynical Brit and I think that... There could be more to this deal than just simply putting this game on the Xbox. But again, we will just have to wait and see how this goes about and what happens in the future. And yeah, that's pretty much all the news I've got for you this week. Hopefully I haven't rambled on too much and hopefully people will enjoy these videos. I will, of course, do more as and when the news comes about. Hopefully just maybe once a week, once, maybe every two weeks, depending on how much news comes out. Of course, if there's some like big exclusive news that drops, like we get a date from one of the maps or something like that, then I would put a video out for that straight away because that's information that we want right now. So yeah. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one, take care.